Hello, let's start lesson number one in which we will talk uh, about introduction of the Scrum. As you know, when you manage projects, you have two ways to manage projects. The first way, if you know all the details and all the steps of the project, if you know what are step number one and what are the final step of the project. So in this case, we say the project will be managed by the waterfall approach or by the traditional approach or by the predictive approach or by the plan driven approach because you know exactly what you will do you know the detailed plan of all the work that you will be uh, that, that will be done from step number one from now you know what you will do until the end of the project in this case we say this is a waterfall and waterfall it's similar to that you know when when there is a mountain and the water is f f flow fro f from this mountain from the top to the down you know exactly what is the flow of this of this water path so this is waterfall you know it's similar to the waterfall or you can say predictive because you predict and you can know what is the future steps or you can say plan driven because the project will be driven by the plan that you will do it uh, or definable work, you know, all of this uh, refers to the the, 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 the the approach that you can use for the clear work and the clear requirements of the project. And a, a clear example here, building a hospital or building a, a building, for example, or any construction project normally will follow the waterfall approach. On the other hand, we have some projects that we don't know what are the okay we know that we know the next step but we don't know the remaining steps you know like when you do a research and development project when you develop and invent something you don't know what is the step number three and four you know one and two but you don't know the remaining when you create a mobile application when you create um, a platform you don't know the detailed steps and this is because m many reasons maybe the customer doesn't know the end the, the end result or maybe he knows the end result or she knows the end result but he doesn't know how can we reach there okay or maybe we know exactly somehow we know what we are going to do but we don't know what are the requirements of tomorrow maybe we will launch something to the market and based on the feedback we will decide what is the next step you know for all of these reasons we follow the other way, which is agile, and agile mean, means flexible, okay? Or you can say agile, you can say uh, adaptive, because you adapt while you go, you adapt. You can say change-driven, because the, the driver here is a change, not the plan. Or you can say uncertain work, because the work is not clear and has a lot of unclear requirements. So this is the second approach type. In this second approach, which is Agile, you have many uh, examples or you have, you have many uh, frameworks, okay? Because Agile itself is a mindset. Inside this mindset, you need something to follow. So here we have like, let's say four or five um, ways that you can apply this Agile. The most important one is the scrum so scrum is one way to apply the agile mindset you got my point so that you can say clearly scrum has five process groups and 19 processes clear you apply them in order to achieve the objective of the scrum uh, project management so we have waterfall and we have agile okay can we have something in the middle yeah, we can have the hybrid system and hybrid system w w when you create your own methodology and it works and you have um, successful projects. So you can say I'm using hybrid process or hybrid approach or in case if you have the, 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 the whole project, let's say predictive or waterfall, but part of the project you switch to agile and then you come back again to the waterfall, you know, or or uh, opposite. So. Uh, of course, I forgot to say that beside the Scrum, we have other ways inside the Agile family, such as TSDM, uh, XP, Extreme Programming, Kanban, Crystal, other ways. 
And when you study the Agile Master, you will study all of these programs. By, uh, and when you study the Scrum Master, you will focus deeply on the Scrum processes. And this course will take, you know, the, let's say the introduction of the, the Scrum so that it's a Scrum Basics or Scrum uh, Fundamentals to know the, you know, the overall view or the overall picture of the uh, Scrum. So what is the meaning of Scrum? So the definition of Scrum here is an adaptive, iterative, fast, flexible, and effective framework designed to deliver a, a significant value quickly and throughout the project. So we will not wait until the end of the project to get the output of the project or the deliverables of the project. No, this is the Scrum. If you follow the Scrum, it means you will deliver something to the customer, let's say, every week. Every week you finish something, one product or one deliverable, you review it, it's running well, you deliver it. You take the second one, third one, and so on. Okay, and we say this one here is a sprint. So you, you work on a certain sprint or set certain product or group of work, let's say minimum one week to four weeks or six, six weeks, and then you deliver it to the customer, start sprint two, sprint three, and so on. And the point here that, you, again, you are not follow a predefined sequence of sprints. I know you say, okay, we will have this amount of work, let's start it as a sprint one after that you will decide what sprint two based on the customer feedback it's not planned or based on uh, w when you launch the application live you will have feedback and then you will decide what is the second priority you need to work uh, uh, on okay fine let's see the key strength point of the uh, or the key strength points of the scrum you know, you work as uh, according to cross-functional teams, you work with business team and programmers team or developers team together. It's self-organized, so no need to feed the team with daily tasks. And instead of that, you put the tasks and everyone every day in the morning come and agree on the plan, take what they want to do, do it, and get it done. Also in the Scrum, you work with empower team and empower team means I can work alone, I can take decisions uh, for, for the profession in my work, I know exactly what I need uh, to do. And as I told you, in the this, in this Scrum, you divide the work to chunks or deadlines or milestones. And in the Scrum, we say this is a sprint. So a sprint, amount of work you need to deliver to the customer from one week to four weeks or six weeks, and you keep focused to get it done. I'm done le with lesson one. I hope it's a nice lesson. And we will move to lesson number two in which we will talk about the Scrum flow. How to know the steps of uh, following a Scrum approach uh, project. So see you in next lesson. Mm -hmm.